Hello. Uh, I got this picture and I sort of sat on it for quite a while. It looked very brown and he still looks very brown now. I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. It was it's a landscape and I'm not not very good at landscapes. But it was it, it does have these amazing Mr. Whippy ice cream plants. They are um, these fonticular, they're, they're, they're fantastic. They're among my favourite of the um, space botany. They <laughs> fonticular. And there's loads of different types of them as well. There's all sorts of funky shapes. and they, I've not seen that many of them. I've seen these and I've seen the ones that look like big flat mushrooms. And I've bounced on those. The, the big flat mushroom ones must either happen close to the bubble or there must just be loads of them because I've, I've, I've scanned quite a few of those. These ones are rather, rather splendid. They, they've got these pointy twisty pods on the top and uh, they sort of apparently crystals in them and stuff. Well, I can't remember seeing anything like that. However, apparently they, they tend to appear on nitrogen planets. You can't see that until right at the end, but you can tell when you look at the sky on this planet. When I finally put the sky in, you can see the atmosphere colour and it is, it is a nitrogen atmosphere. I spent I spent a little while drawing it out and then I decided to do the, uh, the darkest tones so that I had something to work from really because there were these really sharp dark shadows and I thought well look, I'm going to do this in paint because I'm going to end up the side of my hand's going to smudge this everywhere and it's going to look dreadful so I thought well I'll um, I'll do the really dark bits in the paintbrush and once it's dry then I can put all the rest of the tones on top of it and sort of blend them in so hopefully at the end it's not obvious that I used paint I sort of like cheated a bit with the paint you can get really pointy crisp lines you can't get that with chalk as well what I like about this is that the feeling of being there because you've got that low star on the horizon and, and you can tell that it's the core star of the system because it's sending out these shadows and the way the game's built is that it's always the main star of the system that makes the shadows on the planet. These shadows are really, they're, they're very much evening shadows and across these undulating hills and mounds. I like the fact that you sort of feel you're in there because of the SRV being present and you're kind of imagining your process of, of going to these fonticular things um, and scanning them. And then you know you can see one right in the distance, miles away, and then you're trundling off in your SR mode. My terrible thing is I'll get out on foot and I'll scan, I'll scan the vegetable and then I'll look into the distance and I'll see another one. I think, well, that's probably just out of the periphery of the uh, overlap zone for this one. So I'll scamper off on foot and then realise I've left my SRV behind and then have a really long, slow, miss the last bus walk back from the scan, which was not quite far enough away. <laughs> before I go and trundle all the way around the planet to find the one that is. Insufficient genetic diversity. I like right-clicking to reveal the different colours. I think it looks pretty. It looks good. Uh, anyway, I I'll shut up. Thanks for watching. Bye.